the 11 through 15 are the impersonal expressions. Awesome. What's important? Yes. That, that we practice every day. Okay, so. It's important that we practice every day. Right. Okay. So, okay. why is it practiquemos and not practicamos? Because well, even though it's important, we're not sure that it's going to happen. <laughs> Wait a minute. Even though it's important. <laughs> All right. When would we use practicamos? <laughs> it's like we practice every day, right? Yeah. We, we, pra yeah. we, we do. It's a fact. We practice every day. Practicamos todos los días. All right. Number 12. I'll do number 12. Okay, Julie. Um, es interesante que haya cambiado su mente tan rápido. Okay, Anna, tell us about su opinión. Mente, like mente is thoughts. If he changed his thoughts, changed his mind, su mente. Tell us about mente and opinión, right? Cambia. Yeah, mente is more mente. like your brain. Your like Sometimes he didn't change. Like he didn't brain. swap so out we, we his cannot brain. Change or, yes, the, the, the actual can, brain. Right, exactly. <laughs> so it's like yeah. it's mind, body, and soul kind of thing. Exactly. Uh, yeah, <laughs> oh, like that. Um, so we say changed his mind, but if the mind is a physical thing, they can't change that. <laughs> so um, I have changed de opinion. It yeah. kind of threw me off a little bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, cambiar de opinión is changing. Just That's just, yeah, that's changing your mind. I know it sounds weird. It's like changing the opinion, but that's that's the equivalent. So it, mm. if I'm saying cambiar is de, just automatically follow? Say, I'm sorry. Say a, that change, a change of mind. Opinion. Oh, change of mind. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, uh, think of opinion. Opinion is a better word, right? For when, when we do it, the translation to English, a change of opinion, right? You can, mm -hmm. in English, he had a change of opinion. We wouldn't say he had a change opinion. We, we could squeeze it into it, a changed opinion. But the common thing we would say is he had you know, when he learned about whatever, he had a change of opinion, right? And that's where you can kind of relate to that day being in there, the of. We also say change of heart, change of other things. All right. <clears throat> change sorry, of mind. Uh, sorry, Bryce. I'm not getting through this word. Aya, can you just put some light on this, please? This Aya, Aya? is, it's, um, uh, it's, it's a form of aver. It's the okay. Then I look it's at a, it. It's 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 the it's the the word aya itself is uh, the present subjunctive of aver. Okay. Oh, gotcha. I'll look at it, man. Thank you. Um, when you get a chance, can I do number thirteen also? <laughs> don't mind. Go for it. I don't. Nobody. Yep. Yeah, go for it. Um, it is unlikely that. We stay an extra day. Now, just one one thing about this one. Now, it's one of those to where, you know, in English, normally, of course, we would say we will. It's unlikely that we will stay another day. But the significance of that is in, in Spanish, there isn't a future subjunctive. It's still mm -hmm. the present subjunctive. You know, in English, it's we will, which indicates future. And... It's it's still spoken in Spanish as the present. It's just it's spoken in the future in in English. I mean, of course, there's present indicative thing, but for the subjunctive, there isn't a. a I'm sorry. I'm sorry. There are future indicative, but for the subjunctive subjunctive, there is no future subjunctive. So in English, to make it sound right and flow right, that we will stay. But it's oak. Okay. But the sentence is actually okay. It's unlikely that we stay 
another day. It works, but it works better if we have will in there. Or would. That we would stay. Yes, Carol, yeah. It's unlikely that we would stay another day. If now remember yeah, when you say happened. would, you're you're going now you are going then into you're, the uh, or you ooh, yeah. say it. You know what you're going into the the conditional. Yes. Just saying mm -hmm. what sounds good to me in English. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes. Um uh, but I would I would expect something else in there, some context before I would use would. Okay. Uh, somebody was going to say something. Yeah, I was going to ask you if you can scroll down quickly so I can get a screenshot of what you just did um, with the Aya, the Aver. Oh, okay. I'm not sure if I got the whole thing. Oh, okay. I'll and just, just, just to put that into context real quick, since she's bringing up Aya again, it's just like, for example, if I say, you know, there's I, which is the indicative, Aya is its subjunctive. And if I say, uh, there are a lot of people here today. Hay mucha gente aquí hoy. Hay mucha gente aquí hoy. But if I say uh, it doesn't seem like there are a lot of people here today, no, no parece que haya because that no parece no parece indicates um, it indicates an opinion. Doubt. Yeah. Yeah. To you, it doesn't, but maybe to me, it seems like a lot of people, but to you, it does not seem like a lot of people. What does it seem like? <laughs> but just so you, so you know what it's in relation to, I, it, for the indicative and... Can we do grab this a, grab another... Bryce, can we do this again? I mean, I'm... What, we're when there, to... Well, no, there are more subjunctive stuff, you know, so there's, even with the 30... I know, but the rest of the sentences, because it's hard to get this on your own. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We can also review the five or ten meetings we originally did about the subject. We can, <laughs> we can, like, uh, remember the Johnny Carson show? We, you know, we do, do the replays, the repeats, the do the know, replays, do a replay. Yeah, publishers will put out a, a list of replays. Well, remember, guys. I I don't know how many people have been here for quite a while, um, but there's a lot of new people here. It was mm -hmm. us doing these examples of subjunctive that ended up causing this book to come out because Carol and others were like, Bryce, you should write a book. And he did, and but I still don't get happened. it. <laughs> it happened. Still trying. Well, it's examples, just more and more examples. Es poco probable. I, that's, that's common, okay? That's something to put in the journal um, because it's, it's a, it, it means this, but it doesn't sound like this. Right. Okay, fourteen. We're we're not quite halfway through, and, and and we're coming up on the hour. So I think we'll build up some speed. We started off a little <coughs> slow. Okay, all right. It's on me, but we're having a good time, right? We're learning something, and why you know? Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, it's sad that he underestimates his own potential. Who would like to do that? It's tasty. Just, just try it. We'll help. <clears throat> Maybe Raquel could do this one for us because underestimates. It's sad. <laughs> okay. It's sad that he under underestimates. It's right. Uh -huh. Underestimates. Underestimates. Oh, underestimates. Underestimates. It's all potential. Es triste que subestime su propio potencial. Yes. So, I decided to use that. I don't think I've ever used that verb in any of the classes. So I said, you know, I'm going to throw in a, a verb. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Subestime. Underestimates. Wow. Sub estime. Sub estime. Sub estime. Now, let me ask you guys a question. Well, not for, for Raquel, because Raquel already knows. But if, by looking at that, knowing it, that it's the subjunctive, can you extrapolate what the verb is? If you can, it doesn't matter. But... 
Yes, that's yes, that's that's right, Carol. Say that again. Subestar. Subestimar. I mean, subestimar. Yes, yes, yes. I think you said it first. Time. Yeah, it's the subestimar. subestimar. Su. Nice. And, and oh, not sorry. That you even so need to that, necessarily do that right now. But my point is so that after there. a while, you can you'll be able to look at a verb. You'll be able to hear a verb, and you'll you'll know even if you never seen it before. You know, okay, I know what the verb is. <laughs> awesome. Fifteen. Estuvo. Bien. Estuvo bien. I'll try this one. Yeah. Um, it, it was good that you came to see us. Yeah. Good, Gladys. It was good that you came to see us. Okay. Why would we need subjunctive for this? So the emotion. Might not be good to him. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> <laughs> good for who? Yeah, it was good for who, it right? Was, yeah, it's, 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 a, it's, a, it's a, it's a, I'm sorry, just a personal expression. You know, if it's, it's, if a, it's, it's definitive, a, it's different. You know? Yeah, it's my opinion, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's good that you came to see us. Uh, says who? <laughs> That's great. <laughs>